Greetings, eBay's YouTubers. So in this video, I'm going to do an investment. That's what they call it. I'm just going to, I got my molds in here. And um, I've got the mold probably closer than a half inch to the top, but I've got this bar going to support the investment. Got a few pieces under there. I already sprayed them with my debubbleizer over here, homemade debubbleizer from a previous video. I'm uh, going to use this masking tape. It's pretty expensive, but it's pretty cool. It's um, poly stucco by 3M number whatever. So it's kind of a masking tape for stucco. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna start the stopwatch because it's definitely on a time crunch. You could use, I guess, masking tape to to mask off your flask. I've never, you can see how new my flask is, I've never done a casting before with vacuum. I'm gonna do it with this machine in a later video and um, burn out with that oven. I'm planning to collect my wax to not make a mess of my, just takes so much longer to get rid of all that vaporized wax and people say you can reuse it. I'm not really planning on that because it'll be mixed up with sprue wax, which is different than um, the wax I'm using, um, which is, Supposedly, it's a carvable wax, and it's kind of fun because you can, it's not, it's not like standard injection wax where it's just too sticky to, to carve or adjust, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so just, I'm going to drain out my wax, this, this will be on here, and I'll just get it all drained out, probably not going to show that one. Uh, but I have everything ready here. I can't believe that it's going to require this much investment, two pounds of investment. Um, got it all weighed out according to this. Um, it's just to give people an idea what's happening here. You can calculate the pounds of investment from calculating the volume of your flask and uh, another way they have it already programmed um, this is definitely I don't know it, it's just it's definitely a little over and definitely want to be a little over than under and then this is the this is the burnout schedule but also the schedule for investing Really cool if you have one of these machines. But I've got actually refrigerated water to give myself as much time as possible. If the water's cold, it'll set off slower. So mixing time, three and a half minutes. Vacuum time, flask fill, flask vacuum, top off. And you better stop here, you know, otherwise it, it, it sets really quickly. And I just kind of racing against time. So I've weighed all these things out on my scale that's capable to uh, 30 pounds. <laughs> says 30 pounds. And when I weigh the wax, I'm going to use much more precision thing. But, um, you know, here it is grams and uh, just to make sure I'm pretty accurate there's this 100 gram weight that came with that an eBay Amazon purchase but uh, yeah this thing's <laughs> all over the place kind of depends on the table you're using it's got to be flat but um, yeah close enough I've, I used to not measure any of this stuff 
never used breathing protection. This is really bad to breathe. You wanna, I, I have a mask I'm gonna pull up when I start. But I'm trying to gonna I'm gonna try to do it as dust free as I can. Um, I saw on YouTube someone who says she's a professor uh, <laughs> mix investment with her bare hands, and so you know if maybe if you really think you want to feel for lumps or something, you know, but at least wear gloves so you can pull them off and and do the steps because these, um, time is not on your side. You have to, you have to really obey this schedule and eight and a half minutes is not as long as you think, <laughs> especially here. I've been chatting for six minutes already and talking about someone mixing investment with her bare hands and then and then using those hands, you gotta rinse them off all while time is ticking. All right, so definitely everyone does this differently and there are no recommendations here. Does it say to water still nice and cold? So I've been talking that long. But I like to definitely have my water in the flask and pour the powder on top of it. Okay, I'm gonna put up my little mask. Yep, COVID and Cristobalite. You don't wanna, you don't wanna breathe either one. So let's just try to get this in here as dust-free as possible. There's some dust. Plop, bunch of water. That's cool because I'm somewhere between, there's a lot of dust. Glad I'm wearing a mask. All right, start time. All right, mixing, no more than three and a half minutes. First of all, just get it all wet so you don't have to suffer through another cloud of dust. There's dust right there. I know people that have been doing this for 40 years that don't wear masks and still do it like this. Okay. Three minutes of mixing by hand. And when she poured it, it still had pumps in it. I say, I say three minutes of mixing by hand on that other video. And when she poured it, it still had clumps. Mm. Bad mouthing other YouTubers and I can feel the clumps in the middle. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry about all the noise. That's what the volume control is for. Uh, three minutes. I quit about a half minute early. Three minutes of mixing is a long time. I'd rather spend that time vacuuming. Investment table. There we go. Pulling a vacuum. Looks good. Um, anywho. Gonna boil the stuff right now. Let's get a look down in there. I have a... Uh, I really don't have long to vacuum. Yeah, two minutes though, that's a cool. Um, so this is what that looks like. Bubbling up, getting rid of all the air bubbles. this is reversed. So stupid. Okay, zero. You don't want to... Okay. Money shot. Then, uh, where are we at? Flask fill at six minutes. We're ahead of schedule. I just feel like this is just, it feels like an incredible two pounds of investment for this little flask. It just seemed all wrong, but as one of Elon's drone ship says, just follow the instructions. Yeah, I kind of, definitely a little extra. And I definitely got a little extra in here quite a bit and I'm just not going to need more than that but, but vacuum it again just going to clear apart investment table going that way going up and we're at 626 so flask fill vacuum flask we're ahead of schedule and the investment I'm staying nice and liquid with my cold water first time I'm ever using this machine uh, also the first time
a lot of steps are just barely necessary, honestly. Like, if you didn't have one of these and you didn't want bubbles on your castings, and say you're in a position where you're See, it's setting up pretty good already. All right, well, that sucks. Came right off the sprue. Now, again, okay, so how did that come off the sprue? Was it the vibration, the liquid? Um, I, I sprued all around it. Maybe there's a tiny air bubble under the sprue and the vacuum pulled that air bubble open. So top off and, and done, nine minutes. It's supposed to be glassing off and look how liquid it is at 9.20, you know, setting time and glass off. I didn't write that out big, but it says it there. So, you know, why is it still so liquid? which it is, <laughs> really liquid. Um, I can feel the investments cold because uh, I used cold water to give myself more time. And I definitely got more time. And I also found out that, why well, I just, I guess it's always better to have extra than not enough. But I could tell that was extra and probably too much and uh, Maybe I weigh this and figure out exactly what to do with a flask like this. So it should be definitely setting a lot quicker. But like I said, if you say you didn't have a, a vacuum machine and all this fanciness to prevent bubbles from sticking to your work, even with this vacuum, even with everything, if you don't put the bubbleizer on your mold, um, the thing could, the, the thing will still have these micro tiny bubbles that'll mess with your, um, with your mold. Wow, this really isn't setting. <laughs> Got cold liquid, it really, maybe I, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Uh, water temperature, uh-oh. Yeah, it says it right here. Water temperature should be 70. Colder water extends work time. Water, warmer water shortens. Well, yeah, that's the case with whether you're doing epoxy or, or anything really that kind of needs to set off. And yeah, the, the water should be, but of course it wasn't, it was cold. And maybe the cold contributed to the wax breaking too. Um, you live and you learn. It's actually the first time I've ever adjusted water temperature to, to um, see this stuff setting in my fingers from the heat. That's why, I don't know, mixing, <laughs> mixing investment with your bare hands may not be the best idea. You're adding extra heat. And boy, this is just taking forever to set. But hey, it got vacuumed twice. Investment got vacuumed, the class got vacuumed. I lost a piece, there's no evidence that anything else got lost. And that floated to the top. Honestly, and um, I've been a certified diamond setter and goldsmith since 1980. And this is the very first time <laughs> A casting has floated, and I guess that makes sense. It's going to float. It's a lot less dense than liquid investment. And it's the very first time I've ever seen a, a piece detach and float. So I guess it's the first time for everything. And, of course, in all these years, I've never done any vacuum casting. Got my silver all ready for this. I've calculated I'm, I'm gonna use brand new silver and I'm gonna practice pouring the silver. 
with my homemade crucible mold. I made that hole a little bit too low. There's a lot of silver in here, but I guess it'll clump together pretty good. These are some crucibles. I've only ever used crucibles like this for casting ingots. And um, yeah, it's going to be a first. Trying out some vacuum casting. And I clean all this crap up. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it is just staying liquid. Never seen anything like it. Of course, usually it really does. Right at the right at the nine minute mark, ten minute mark, it becomes really viscous and sets up nice and hard. This stuff is more susceptible to the room temperature. So, well, there you go. Got got plenty of time to let this set, and um, I'm just gonna. Gonna really wait a while before I mess with it. Usually I'm pulling the base off it 20 minutes after it's done. It's, yeah, just rock hard. And um, yeah, never quite seen this. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, tried something new. It goes under the title of Fafo. F around and find out. <laughs> I definitely did some effing around today. So, you know, don't see this. This stuff's almost it's set enough. It won't pour anymore. So, yeah, this got more. The cold is held in by the big cylinder. All right. Well, Gonna go clean all this up and uh, let this set quietly. <laughs> that was, uh, yep. Sorry about the long video. I'll uh, be demonstrating the casting. I'm gonna see what happens with collecting the wax out so I don't mess up my beautiful new oven that I they tell you to burn it out. So I did the kind of warm up burnout and uh, it's just good for one flask, but you can fit a lot of stuff in a flask. Got a pretty big one, got some small ones. Anyway, that's the video for today. <laughs> oh dear.